You may not think it, but there's definitely some differences in these storage pockets. So if you're looking at these for your Bronco, I'm going to go over uh, these two styles right here. I'll show some of the other ones. There are there's some Molly ones that can be metal or plastic. There's also some bag ones that are basically a canvas type with a zipper. So you can put things in those. So there's quite a few different options here. I'll show those on the screen and you can, you can check those out. And I'll also put a link to some of those too. So these two options right here, if you're, if you're going just for a basic storage pocket, um, inexpensive uh, for, for what, you know, they're, they're pretty cheap, I'd say. Um, these are the most main uh, ordered ones right here, probably just because of the price. So let's cover these. Uh, so what these do is they just mount right over your, your nets, your little pocket nets that are on the doors. And you're just going to take the bolts out, bolt these right on. So now these are obviously, as you can see, pretty similar, just black plastic, nothing special here really going on. Um, but they have different designs. This one comes out a little further. And this one actually has, as you'll see on the other side, that's where the, the differences are going to really be um, pronounced. So here we go. Um, on this one, you can see it just was going to follow the outline of the net. On this one over here, it has an actual smaller section that comes out further. So what this would do is it's going to allow you to put things straight down um, a little bit better instead of just at that angle. So let's flip it over, and here's where you're going to really see the differences in uh, quality and, and differences. So the one on the right here actually has a rubber liner, and that is, that is huge, folks, because that right there is going to deaden any sounds. If you have anything laying in here, it's going to stop it from rattling. It, it could also be used as an insulator, you know, um, if you have anything in here that's cold or hot. But mainly this is going to add a bit of a quality uh, to this storage pocket because it's just going to keep things quieter. It, and, it's, and it actually it adds a whole lot more to the heft. It's going to just be a lot better for anything you have in there. If, if, you're, gonna, if you're one of those people that gets annoyed when you're running on the road and you have something that's just rattling constantly, then this is for you. If you just turn up the music like some people do, then it doesn't matter. But on our other one here, you're going to see this one has... A little bit of a divider from the front to the back so hear that yep big difference so also on this one here to note this does have a bit of a uh a divider and air raised area here where you could put two bottles if you're using smaller bottles and we're going to go over the bottle sizes what will fit in these things um, but that's that's basically it so let's go out to the garage let's check them out on the bronco and I'll show you the small differences there. Okay, here we have suspect number one. This is the one that obviously, as you can tell, uh, comes out a little farther in the front. It's gonna be deeper, it's gonna hold some more. Inside here, um, you know, as we showed before, there is a, a little bit of a cup, two cup thing here where it could uh, keep the bottle separated or whatever you have in here. Um, also to note, when the door's closed, my leg falls about right in this area, right here. So it's not a problem for me when I'm driving. I don't feel my legs really touching this at all. You, you could, you know, lean it up against this. I'm sure, you know, if, you, if you're going to put your leg all the way out by the door, you would touch this. For some of you people with clown feet or big legs, then, you know, you might, you might feel this when you're getting in or out. But for me, it's not a problem. I am not a very big guy. But let's see. We're going to cover the bottle sizes. This one right here is a one and a half liter so when you go on the trails you should take some extra water with you no problem you could even also carry another regular size water bottle next to that um, this is a one liter it is about the same girthiness as this so that is also no problem and still room there still got room here for whatever you want we have our net in here, you know, still, so any, any paperwork or maps, things like that, you can set back there. Um, you know, and as, as I showed you earlier, this is the one that has the rubber liner inside of it. So let's check out the other one now. Okay, here's the other storage pocket. So let's check this out. It doesn't look like it's going to, doesn't come out as far here, obviously, as you can see. This has that separator in the middle here, so you can keep some paperwork back here, keep it uh, separated from a few drinks up in the front. So let's give her a try. Let's do our one and a half liter first. Now, definitely, definitely hitting the net here since it's a tighter fit, but 
that gets in here and mainly the reason that fits is because your door is angled out right here cut out further so we can get that in there you know, obviously we know we'll fit the other ones in there so can we get all right it'll it'll shove in there but you're gonna hit your net so you know depending on what you're looking for a little more room here so it doesn't protrude into your legroom area maybe this is the one that you want to go with let's do the one liter so that would do it if that's all you're going to carry in there you could still shove one of these in there too you know like i said you're shoving down your net not a big deal but this is the one that is just plastic nothing else no liner anything at all like that so if you are going to keep anything in here it's going to rattle around you're probably going to hear it i mean it sounds like it even rattles right now here was our suspect number one and as you can see if my legs are stretched out i'm all the way up to both sides then yeah i'm touching it if my legs up like this it comes in right where i was showing you right around there so i can put my leg up on that it does stick out a little further and it's actually coming in contact with that before the before the door so these do come in and uh, take a little bit of your leg room away if uh you've got some big legs if you got a lot going on down there then uh these may not be the right ones for you here is the second option so you can get a view on the inside not a problem tons and tons of room in here and if you guys were worried, wondering about a size reference i am five foot nine on a good day i like long walks on short piers but there you go not a problem and like i said if i'm leaning my leg over i'm barely touching not a problem my knee my knee probably contacts the door before that